Hey everybody, it's Jason Everett, one of the trainers down here at Business Refuel. In a great book, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, he talks about the fastest way to change your life is by changing your friends. And today I want to help you to do that because it's easier said than done. I mean, most people, the second you say, if you want to change your life, change your friends, everybody freaks out and thinks about all the people they really enjoy spending time with and the, the family members that they can't get rid of and if they take care of somebody or what if it's your spouse that's the person that you'd want to change their mindset and their attitude. How do you go about shifting and changing those people around you? Well, first of all, don't take the all or nothing approach. This is not one of those times when you just wipe out everybody that you talk with and only work with a set group of people. What you actually want to start to do is make a list, create an inventory list if you will, of the five people you spend most of your time with and write down if you think what are the attributes of them that they contribute to your life. And it could be even if it's not business, what maybe they contribute in spirituality, maybe they contribute in other areas like finance, maybe they contribute in areas of your life like relationships. And so they can still have a good influence in your life. But then what I want you to do, if there's people on that list you think could probably go or maybe you just don't want to spend as much time with, I want you to create a list of the attributes of the person that you'd like to spend more time with. Maybe it's their morals, maybe it's their standards, maybe it's their business skill, whatever that is, and I want you to make a list of that. In fact, for me personally, I spent a good chunk of years uh, spending time in a mastermind group with a couple of different guys that we used to get together on a monthly basis and talk about what we wanted to do. In fact, this very business was started in that mastermind group and I went and I ran it through those guys and we talked about it. We talked about the pros, cons, and they helped me to make a decision to do that. But over the years, as I continue to grow in business, I've since changed groups. The same group that helped me 10 years ago is not the same group I should be in today. In fact, the group that I'm in today challenges me even harder than the group that I was in before. In fact, we meet every single week. We have a specific written set of rules, like a code of honor for our, for our group that actually says we ask more of each other than we ask of ourselves. So we challenge each other emotionally, mentally, and business-wise, as well as spiritually as we grow together. And so what I want to encourage you to do is not only take this inventory and write this list, but start writing down a few people that you can find, that you'd like to find on this list, that you can go out and you can go after. Where do you find these people? Great question. Everybody always wants to know, where do I find these people? How do I find great people who are going to push and challenge me? Well, if you want to learn more and grow, you should go to other classes where you find other people in those classes, where you take down their information, you get to know them and build a rapport and then maybe suggest that you start a mastermind group. or. If you really want to stretch yourself, write down some people that you know of that you think would be a big thing if you asked them and said, hey, I'd really like to do something, either get mentored by you or start a mastermind group with you and reach out to them, tell them what you're trying to accomplish and most likely they're going to feel extremely honored that you would go out of your way to call them and to find out more about possibly starting a mastermind group or a small group of your peers with them. So that's it for me this week, Jason Everett, and I hope you have an outstanding week. In the comments below, write down some of the lists of uh, the attributes that you'd like to have in this group of peers. What type of people you'd be looking for, and if you want, even tag some of those people in the comments below and start the conversation with them right there. So that's it for me. Have a great week.